Good afternoon, good afternoon. Today's gonna be a quick video, a little how-to. I think I'm gonna start that, kind of a how-to on my channel, how to rig this, how to do that, how to hook this, or whatever. But today is gonna be how to fillet crappie. You can pretty much fillet most fish the same way. There's a couple ways though that I found that are the normal way, and then there's one that's a little more tedious, but I think you get more meat off the fish. So stay tuned, let's get to it. Step number one, get you a fillet knife. Um, this one's pretty flexible. Some people, I don't know, you may not like that. I typically do. Um, obviously, if it's a really rough type of fish, then maybe something a little more sturdy, but I like something with a little flex. So, step one. Step two, get the fish. Okay, this is not a huge crappie, but it's a decent sized crappie. It's a little easier to work with, more room, things like that. So typically, what I always do is you find the gill plate right here, or the gill, gill plate right here you're gonna cut essentially from here a straight line all the way down almost to where is this fin here starts so pretty much a straight line right like that gotta get through the scales so this is the probably the easier way of the two to clean it so we'll do we'll do this side normal and then the other side will do it a little different. Once you do that, you turn your knife along the backbone there. You're gonna have to cut through a couple of ribs. And then you just ride that fillet knife all the way down the spine. And you'll feel it and hear it, obviously. Once you get to the tail, you stop. Flip that over, and there's your fillet. Take your knife here. This is why I like the flexible knife. You can use the pressure of the knife. You can feel the skin, and that knife will just get as close as, as it can. Just like that. So obviously you have your rib meat here. So the next step in completing this fillet would be take your knife, make a nice clean cut all the way through here. Just like that. There's meat on the back side of this, but there's really no way to eat it. So chunk that. There's one good piece of, good solid piece of crop of meat right there. So, the other way to do this, we'll flip this guy over, is you're gonna make your same cut, all right? So same cut right along here. Okay. <clears throat> Instead of cutting through that rib meat, what I'll do here, the top of this fin, you can follow pretty much his backbone, obviously, is right there in the center. So get as close to the center as you can. And then I cut like this. You're, again, you're cutting along those ribs. And then once you get past those ribs, you can go all the way through the fish. Like so. And then you'll take this cut all the way down to the tail, similar to the other one, like we do on the other side. So now what you'll do is you'll cut along those ribs. this way once you get past those ribs there it goes it pretty much flays itself open so you finish it set here Okay, so at this point, you should be back to a similar scenario. There's your piece of meat. Pull that out of the way. See, look, there's the ribs. That's the piece we cut off on the first one and it stayed in. That way you're, you're not having to struggle to cut through all those rib, rib bones. So now it's the same process. You start your cut, let the knife do the work. And you 
just slowly pull it along here like so. And if you did it correctly, ideally you shouldn't have to cut any bone meat out because there it is. I think this way you get a little more meat out of the fish, but it does take a little longer. So anyways, those are the two ways that I have cleaned crappie in the past. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully you're able to take this right here and fillet you up some good fish and bon appetit.